हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर सब्जेक्ट एडवांस मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस वी हैव बीन गोइंग थ्रू वेरियस प्रोसेसेस अंडर मैकेनिकल एनर्जी इन्वॉल्व राइट सो इन द अनकन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग प्रोसेसेस देयर आर मेनी प्रोसेसेस बट क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द एनर्जी इन्वॉल्वमेंट राइट सो इन प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बेस्ड ऑन द प्रोसेस दैट इज मैकेनिकल एनर्जी बेस्ड प्रोसेसेस right so abrasive jet machining ultrasonic machining both processes are based on mechanical energy involved right so what happens in mechanical energy involved process our final output or say our energy involved in cutting will be of mechanical type so once again i am repeating the concept of both the processes in abrasive jet machining our material will be removed with help of high kinetic energy jet right after that in ultrasonic machining our material can be removed with help of high frequency vibration right so this due to this vibration abrasion will occur and due to this we can remove or cut the material right so in today's session we are going to discuss further on ultrasonic machining like process parameters various material a uh, removal rate graphs and various parameters right so in ultrasonic machining once again I, here i mention the basic setup or construction for the ultrasonic machining right so as per our discussion here in ultrasonic machining what is important here your vibratory motion is important it means transducer is used right so due to transducer we can achieve this up down or say vibratory motion and due to this vibratory motion we can remove the material after that abrasive slurry is also important and that is also mentioned here in this principal figure so purpose of abrasive slurry is to remove the material at faster rate or to increase the material removal rate right so here in this setup our uh, transducer concept is also mentioned abrasive slurry is also mentioned right so here i mentioned the various components like transducer slurry and your uh, clamping mechanism etc right so tool is also important uh, to remove the material or say to fracture out the material right so here uh, let us start discussion on various components in detail so as per our discussion here i mentioned the transducer so function of transducer is to convert the energy from electrical form to your mechanical or vibratory motion right so transducer is very important because here our input is or say in the ultrasonic machining our input is electrical energy and our purpose is the vibratory motion so transducer is very important right so there are generally two types of transducers are available that is piezoelectric and magnetostriction right so here uh, both concepts are very near or say very similar so here i mention the magnetostriction transducer concept so what happens so when you provide the potential difference or say electrical energy or voltage what happens or say there will be um, some magnetic field and due to this a uh, magnetic field what happens the length of your rod will be changed right so when you apply the magnetic field or say electrical energy in earlier form what happens the length of rod will be changed right so due to this magnetic field surrounding what happens your length of rod will be changed and this change in length will be used as a vibratory motion in magnetostriction concept so as per the piezoelectric concept what happens when you apply the electric current or electricity what happens your material will start vibrating so when you apply the electrical energy or electrical signal there will be a vibratory motion as a output and that is the concept of piezoelectric material so quartz is an example of piezoelectric so uh, when you apply the electric energy it will convert in the vibratory motion so in the both the concepts our purpose is to produce the vibratory motion and that is important uh, as a function of transducer right after that here i mentioned the concentrator or say horn mechanism so as per the name what is the function of concentrator so here our purpose is to magnify 
तो वाइब्रेटरी मोशन और सेट टू एनहेंस और इंक्रीज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन राइट सो कॉन्सेंट्रेटर और हॉर्न इज यूज टू इंक्रीज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन राइट सो हियर आई मेंशन द इमेज सो इट इज हैविंग अ कन्वर्जन शेप सो एट द एंड टूल इज और सेट टूल इज प्रोवाइडेड एट द एंड ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ शेप दैट इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटर और हॉर्न राइट so once again i repeat the purpose of concentrator or horn as per the name to concentrate the vibration or to increase the amplitude right that is very important right so in ultrasonic machining it is very important to provide the high frequency vibration at the end of the tool and that's why horn or concentrator is important right so after that here i mention the feed mechanism so what is the function of feed mechanism as per the name here to feed it, it means to provide the feed of the tool it means to handle the tool for the machine so in general here what is the function or purpose of providing or feed mechanism the function of feed mechanism is to provide the static force or static load when you do the machine because uh just remember the concept here what happens our tool will be forced towards your workpiece and after that it will start the vibratory motion so it is very important to provide the force or say in downward direction your tool should be forced towards your workpiece and after that your vibration will be of ultrasonic range right so uh it is very simple what is function of feed mechanism the function of feed mechanism is to provide the static force or say downward force towards the workpiece so that when the tool vibrates your material can be removed right so it is a downward force generating mechanism right at the same time when you complete the machining your tool should be uh, travel in upward direction as per this mechanism right so this mechanism is known as a feed mechanism so for this feed or so for this tool movement you can go for the various concepts like hydraulic pneumatic concept or so gravity feed concept and also spring loaded right so our purpose is to handle the motion of tool during this machining so here in this images i mention the concept of this feed mechanism so as per the name gravity feed what happens due to the weight and due to counter weight you can provide the force in downward direction as the same here with, uh, when you use the spring loaded mechanism there will be some mechanism based on the spring so that you can remove the force as well as you can apply the force in downward direction at the same time with help of air or gas or water hydraulic or pneumatic mechanism can be activated right so with help of various concept and you can uh apply the motion to the tool and that is purpose of feed mechanism right after that here i mentioned the advantages for this ultrasonic machining so the main advantage is brittle and hard material can be easily machined or say extremely hard or brittle material can be machined easily right so it is comparatively a uh, very fast process but here uh you cannot go for the ductile material machining so you can write in the disadvantage you cannot machine the ductile material effectively with help of this process right so in the advantages here i mentioned the various points and as per my discussion in the disadvantages the main point is you cannot go for ductile material very effectively because here concept is brittle fracturing right so brittle material is very easy to be machined by this ultrasonic machining right so here uh, one thing is very important there will be a contact between your tool and workpiece so what happens when there will be a contact there should be some wear or say there should be some friction or wear of the tool present right so here one thing is important tool wear or say tool friction is present because of physical contact right so here tool wear is present so you can write this point the limitation or disadvantage so as per our discussion here ultrasonic machining is very important when you are going to cut 
a very hard material if you are going to make a die for certain application uh, you can go for this ultrasonic machining or some small holes can be drilled with help of ultrasonic machining so uh, the main advantage is you can do the machining for both conductive and non-conductive material it means if you are going to machine a glass you can easily go for ultrasonic machining so it is a uh, very useful for various non-conducting material also right after that let us start discussion on variation with your material removal rate with certain parameters right so as per our discussion your abrasive particle size is very important right so grain size versus your material removal rate in the first graph here i mentioned the variation of material removal rate with the grain size of your abrasive slurry so in the initial stage your material removal rate with uh, you are say with grain size your material removal rate will increase but after some time it will start decreasing right so various grit like 200 400 grit uh, various size of abrasives are available right so generally higher grit size will be used for finishing operation right so here i mentioned in this graph the variation with your grain size right so after that here i mentioned with abrasive concentration or say slurry concentration right so concentration is nothing but how much amount of abrasive particles you are adding in the water or say various carrier right so here i mentioned the variation of material removal rate with your slurry concentration right so it will increase first but after that there will be a, some stable limit and after that that uh, it will decrease with higher concentration so generally 20 to 30 percentage of your slurry concentration is recommendable right after that here i mentioned the variation with the frequency and amplitude so amplitude is nothing but it is from the uh, mean or from the average uh, your axis how much amount of uh, vibration will be below or say above your mean line right that is the amplitude of vibration that is the highest point beyond your average or say mean vibration line right so as the amplitude increase your material removal rate will definitely increase so as the tool vibrates in higher amplitude your material removal rate will increase for the same here as the frequency of vibration will be higher what happens your material removal rate will be increasing order right so with frequency and as well as with amplitude both your material removal rate will be increasing right so this is how certain parameters uh, affect your material removal rate so one thing is very important as per our discussion wear ratio what do we mean by wear ratio so wear ratio is nothing but it is the wear of your work material to the it is the ratio of wear of your work material to wear of your tool right so it is simple the ratio of the volume or say the wear rate of your work material to the wear or say volume wear of your tool right so here i mentioned the wear ratio digits for various materials right so for the glass for the tungsten carbide here i mentioned the wear ratio it means 1.5 to 1 it means here it is a ratio of wear from the work material to the wear from the tool material right so it is very important parameter to define or say to decide which material is very easy to machine or so which material is difficult to be machined right so this is how uh, material can be removed and various parameters affect your material removal rate in ultrasonic machining thank you all of you